as we teach people in our SAT and ACT classes, SAT and ACT scores are not the most important variable in college admissions. Taking hard classes and getting as high of a GPA as possible is, and should be, the most important factor. Therefore, this video is good to know is not needed for the SAT or the ACT, but since many students will take calculus either in high school or at the very beginning of college, this is a very useful thing to know, and many teachers don't cover it in school. So if you hit the math button, there are two words you're going to hear eventually if you take calculus, derivatives and integrals. So if you hit the math button, write down here, n deriv and fn int. Now this will not do the whole problem for you, but what it does is it lets you do a spot check because we've all been there where we do a multi-part problem, mess up the first part, and therefore miss the entire thing, all the multi-parts. So n deriv is where you do a spot derivative. So for example, say that we're taking a derivative in x. Then we put an x right there. And let's say that the function is 2x squared plus 4x. If you think you did the derivative correctly, you have it written down in your paper, and you want to test it, well, let's test that derivative at the value of 3. If you take your answer that you found in class, and you plug in x equals 3, and you don't get 16, warning, you just got it wrong, go back and fix your mistake. Now, the exact same thing can be done for integrals, which is the inverse of a derivative. So this stands for functional interval range, so integral range, rather. So if you have, say that they ask you to take the integral from 1 to 5, starting value 1, ending value 5, of negative 3x squared plus 5, and do it in terms of x. Now, you have to do the problem the right way first, but this is excellent to be able to check your work because if you go back and you plug in 1 to 5 for your answer and you don't get negative 104, then you should go back because you made an error somewhere. 